Okay, this is for the uh, cardiovascular exam number two. This one has 75 questions. Um, there will be five questions from the last exam that will appear on this exam. Okay? Just a little FYI. Nothing new, but just to make sure that you guys kind of remember a little bit from the endocrinology. Um, there's going to be a matching section that you'll find on white blood cells. Make sure you're familiar with what are the granular sites and the agranular sites. There'll be five questions just on that. Make sure you know the functions of platelets, monocytes, neutrophils, basophils, eosinophils. That's another matching section. Know your percentage questions. What percentage of blood is plasma? What percentage is proteins? What percentage is water? What percentage are ions? Anything that you saw a percentage, make sure you know. Never let my engine blow, 60-30-631. Make sure you know those percentages as well. There'll be a matching section on the protein, so you need to know the function of albumin, fibrinogen, globulins. Know the function of a red blood cell. I would know everything that it has the potential of carrying. I'd know what an RBC is, what a WBC is, and what a platelet is. They have other names. I'd know what their names are. I'd know the pH of blood. I'd know how, what hormones the kidney, the kidneys can produce and what their function is in regulating blood pressure, what the kidney can produce that can affect um, red blood cell production. I'd know the different nutrients and vitamins needed for healthy red blood cell production. I'd know a little bit about endothelial cell-derived relaxing factor. I'd also know about the different forms of angina. Stable, unstable, Prinz metals, know the differences. Know which ones are predictable. Know what the Bohr effect is. Know the fate <clears throat> of a red blood cell after 120 days. I'd know the path that it takes, how it's broken down and recycled. I'd know <clears throat> all the different storage forms of iron. Know what transferrin is, what ferritin is, apotransferrin, and hemosiderin. Know their differences. I'd know the iron-containing portion of heme and the non-iron-containing portion of heme. Go over your blood types. Know the plasma antibodies associated with the different blood types. Know the different types of anemia, aplastic anemia, pernicious anemia, sickle cell anemia, iron deficiency anemia. There'll be about five, four to five questions on that. I'd know what the mediastinum is. Blood flow through the heart. I may ask you, how does blood go from the right atrium to right ventricle through what valve? Or left atrium to left ventricle, what valve? Or right ventricle to pulmonary trunk, what valve? You have to be able to draw out that, the heart as I did for you on the board. Make sure you watch that video on YouTube or on my website. Know the different layers of the heart, endocardium, uh, myocardium, pericardium. I know the difference between trabecular carne and pectinate muscles. I know what the chordae tendinae are. 
I know lubbed up, lubbed up, which is the closure of the AV valves, which is the closure of the semilunars. The difference between prolapse, stenosis, and regurgitation. I'd know what the papillary muscles are. Make sure you're familiar with the electrical conduction system of the heart. So if I put scramble up the order, you can place them in order. So know whether it's AV node to SA node or SA node to AV node. Is it Purkinje fibers next? Is it bundle of Hiss next? You have to know the order to put them in. May make a nice matching section for five choices. The EKG, P, Q, R, S, and T wave, know what they each represent, know what the P wave is, what the Q wave, Q, R, S wave, and the T wave. <clears throat> adrenal cortex and adrenal medulla, know what hormones are produced there. I'd know all the following hormones that can increase blood pressure and which ones decrease blood pressure. I know the functions of angiotensin II, all the different things angiotensin II can do. I know sympathetic neural system, its role in affecting norepinephrine and epinephrine in vasoconstricting blood vessels. I know the difference between the tunica interna, externa, and musculosa, the difference between arteriosclerosis and atherosclerosis. All the vascular irritants, things that can damage the tunica interna. Things that can increase homocysteine levels. <clears throat> the process of atherosclerosis. Go over the oxidized LDL concept. Go over the oxidized LDLs and foam cells. I know where cholesterol is produced. I know the healthy LDL to HDL ratio. I know things that increase cholesterol and things that can decrease cholesterol. I know the branches off the arch of the aorta. I would know the celiac trunk, the blood vessels that make up the celiac trunk. You should know what the superior mesenteric artery feeds blood and oxygen to what structures, the inferior mesenteric artery as well. I would know the vertebral arteries. I would know the circle of Willis, the carotid arteries. Know that circle of Willis. Know how blood gets back to the superior vena cava from the brain. I know the great saphenous vein from the lower extremity. I know the difference between hepatic portal circulation and the hepatic vein, their main differences. Go over the uh, two fetal remin remnants uh, of the heart. And then there are a few questions just um, on information from the first exam. Nothing too tricky, pretty straightforward. You should be able to get them right. So there's a total of 75 questions, all multiple choice, true and false. If you see AOTA, that means all the above. NOTA means none of the above. Okay? And um, that'll do it.